But on the inside, a child has been beaten to death because of alleged cheating. There's something really wrong with how we understand discipline, how we understand correction, how we understand helping somebody come out of a mistake. Because most times, it doesn't feel like you're helping somebody get out of a mistake and learn. You're literally breaking them because of a mistake. A teachable moment becomes a moment in which somebody loses their life. And it got me thinking, how do we understand discipline in the world today? The simple who say, ah, mini lipitia, mini li, mini li chapo, nili okoto wa maze. So lazima maze wa junior wa okotwe. And the others who say, no, vile mini li okotwa, there is absolutely no way I want anybody to pass through the same thing. And so we're asking you this question and would love your feedback on it. Discipline for children, we know it's a delicate balance, and some abuse that. But what is the ideal form of discipline? And this is not a, a right and wrong answer. There can be a hundred ways in which discipline can be done better. But you cannot cross the line to the extent where somebody loses their life. Some people say you can actually talk to children, that you can actually have a conversation with them. And that they'll keep on making the same mistakes, keep on correcting them through conversation. And there are some who say, take away their privileges. If they love something, take it away. Others just say, give them a tongue lashing and they will learn. But we want to find out what is it that you think is the ideal form of discipline. We are on Facebook as Nation FM, we're on Twitter as Nation FM KE, and we are also on Instagram as Nation FM underscore Kenya. I'm at David UK on my socials. I'd love to hear from you this morning. You can also send us a message on WhatsApp, even a voice note as well, so that we can hear your voice on this matter. And the number is open. It is 0701 963 000. Palipopoto Kiwa, unezakatu.